Okay, here's another League of Legends game coming your way, this time with Graves AD Carry. Going with the Duran Blade because it synergizes with the passive. And we have another unconventional bot lane, sort of. I'll explain. So here is Callista, packing Ignite instead of Heal. While that does give her some kill pressure with the Leona she's partnered with, that has a few ways of kind of backfiring on them. And we'll have to see if they can make it work. Otherwise, that's one of the things that could sink the AD carry just like Draven in the previous game. But anyway, let's go over our matchups. I'm Graves, partnered with Nautilus, Bot against Leona and Callista. We have Teemo, top against Nasus, Maokai in the jungle against Lee Sin, and Pantheon mid against Zed. So, if you've seen the League cinematic, in order to prevent myself getting blown up by Nautilus, we brought him on my side. Ingenious, I know. But anyway, on a serious note, let's go over how Graves works. Your passive is True Grit. When you're in combat, you gain stacks that give you armor and MR. The amount scales with level, maxing out at 3 per stack, giving you a grand total of 30, making Graves one of the tankiest AD carries in the game. And you definitely want to go Bloodthirster to capitalize on his True Grit. Passive is, uh... Buckshot, it's a cone type ability. You don't have an amazing AD ratio on this, surprisingly, but you fire three bullets. The bullets can't hit more than one target, but they do less damage to it. W is smoke screen. You drop a canister of smoke on the ground for four seconds. Enemies are slowed and lose vision. E is quick draw. You dash forward. You get a surge of attack speed. And this is uh, the cooldown of this move is lowered by auto attacking. Your ult is collateral damage. This actually has a decent AD ratio. I wasn't really paying attention to Maokai to see if he dropped his saplings as he's supposed to. If he's running attack speed runes, the golem start can work. So let's get these denied. So, pretty much to summarize this lane, we're both out for blood. I am gonna miss that one. Damn. What are you playing? I don't remember what Callista's auto attack range is to know if I outrange her or not. Yeah, the advantage for Nautilus is the depth charge is point and click, so once we hit level 6, it's considerably easier to lock her down. You can combo that into the Nautilus passive. And if she stacks the spears properly, that should be an easy last hit. Right now he needs to kind of take a melee minion, but... Seriously? So that just happened. Sadly, I did burn through all my mana because Graves is fairly mana intensive. Now, it would help me if not would come take that cannon. Hit it.
Yeah, the thing is, I don't have a BF sword yet, sadly. That's the one drawback about going back now. I can get a Vamp Scepter and boots, though. What are you playing? It's not as much as getting a pickaxe, though, but the trade-off is I still have an extra 10 or 7, depending on how you look at things, because I normally don't start with the Duran Blade. So right now I have quite a bit of lifesteal. I should be able to sustain in lane fairly well. And Kalista is rushing Hurricane, so we can blow her up again at level 6. Yeah, to be honest, I'm a little worried about the top lane. Yeah, I don't really know why he went in there like that, but I should have let him die. When we had that many minions, it would have been much better to actually... Yeah. So that cost us our lead, and to be blunt, I'm not following his lead from this point on. Yeah, that screwed us over really bad. We had the chance to get an early level 6. <laughs> We're taking massive turret damage. There's the drawback of having a lot of lifesteal. It helps you not the slightest damn bitch when you're up against someone that's going to just flat out burst you down. I don't think this guy could wait any longer to actually last hit those. So the one thing that they do have going in their advantage is that the Nidal- uh, not Nidalee, the Leona Another gank bot. At this rate, I think it's safe to say that they're pre-made. focus fire like that. It makes last hitting damn near impossible. Let's you don't have ult, man. Lucky. Right now she is burning through her mana.
Are they thinking about a dragon? Got any bright ideas? Okay, I'm just going back then to get the BF sword. Always trouble. Hmm. So I don't know what exactly she's up to. <laughs> Two daggers. Then again, she does have the BF sword. And their Lee is much more aggressive than our Maokai. Big question being right now, where is, there's Leona. Did a panic flash there because Zed was right behind me, and I don't know what that was. Did Zed not have ult? Or I don't know. No, not enough range. I had ult, he could have used that to mitigate some of the damage. Going back for a pickaxe. Gonna rush Infinity Edge still. Feeling lucky. And the one thing I really hate about Graves is having to sit around here waiting for your mana to regen. at 314 HP. And he can take the long way around. I should be able to clear this fairly easily. She has Ignite, don't forget. Damn it. At least I got the assist. So 45, yeah, Lee is running circles around Maokai. I'm going to get this so that I might be able to survive next time.
Yeah, she's doing the hurricane rush. She did pick up an AD item first, which is smart, otherwise the beating would be that much worse. It's just she probably should have finished something. Yeah, she has a thousand HP. This is going to hit her for four hundred. This, three hundred. She has forty-eight armor. He's got Moby Boots, but it doesn't matter. And those are focusing one minion, so I'll push my way at this rate. Not waiting for my mana regen this time. Leona's giving it a nice little push for me. Oh, they can still kill you. It's just going to be considerably more difficult. And where is Nasus in all of this? is now at 500 damage. If I can get close enough, she's dead. So I'm just backing out. Actually, never mind. If I'm getting some alone time down here, I can just life steal up. Needless to say, if I did not succeed in that dash, I'd be dead. Shit. Why do I have to be a hero? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go in there. The Nautilus is making really shitty judgment calls. That's gonna cost us the bot tower. That's kind of their gimmick here. And as much as I like to go Bloodthirster second, I need to get the zeal. You can see Nasus right now. 230, he's actually doing decently in terms of stacks. 
Now, Nautilus has no reason being there. If you can get Pantheon to go with him, they might be able to do something, but yeah. Team backed out. Team just ran away, dude. Don't do anything stupid. Got any bright ideas? We're doing something stupid. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, the one time Pantheon isn't bot, what do you know? on Zed. Let's see. on Leona, so I can't afford to open the shop window right now. I ain't got oh, time to surrender. So, yeah. Not really sure where to begin. But, um... That's pretty much why I don't like Callisto rushing attack speed first. It's good for getting you blown up, and as long as the enemy team has a way to engage on you, you're not going to last long. Well, I'll post thoughts and observations in the description. I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.